Hello. Today I'm going to do a quick video of explaining how to update or install the mod Mix Edition made by Stewie 1.0. Uh, Mix Edition is a mod made for AFT, Positiva A AFT, sorry about that, um, which includes a ton of files that most people haven't dealt with. Usually you don't de deal with these many files. So I'm going to make a video explaining how to. Uh, I am unfused. I'm a, a diva player and a streamer. I'm also a beta tester for Stewie uh, for the Mixed Edition project. Yeah, um, first thing you want to do is go over to the Mixed Edition showcase that Stewie uploaded on the 16th of January 2022. And in the description, there will be a little download. That will bring you to this Google Drive. It has a few things. You can check these out. Um, has some of the basic, you know, stuff that got added, uh, the credits, uh, here is my name, <laughs> there you go, and the basic instructions of how to install it. This doesn't go into too much depth, and that's why I'm making this video, because a lot of people get confused. Uh, so yeah, <coughs> uh, sorry about this. Next, you want to download each one of these files. Mix Edition v 17 zip one to 12 and the RAM.RAW. Uh, this might take a while. It took me eh, about 30 minutes to download all of these files. Once they do, go to your downloads, and it should look something like this. You might, so if you highlight all of them and just hit the download button, it'll pop you into... Uh, Oops, wrong folder here. It'll pop you into um, a zip file, which if you have 7-zip or WinRAW, that'd be great to use. Uh, if you don't, that's fine. There is a basic extractor built into Windows now that you can just right-click on them and find the extract button. Mine, uh, you can't see it, but mine will be somewhere down here for uh, WinRAW at least. <coughs> oh. So... Next, you're going to see a ton of files. Mix Edition v one uh, z dot a number. You want each one, those 12 parts, into one folder. So we're going to make a new folder here. Doesn't matter what it's called or where it is. It's just a folder. And I'm just going to call it Mix Edition. Again, doesn't matter what. And you're going to go through and grab each file. So I'm just going to quickly do this. Uh... Eat. You can also delete the folder afterwards. You don't need the folders. There you go. Cut. Recession. There's 12 parts to it. Um, so, yeah, it doesn't take too long. I'll just quickly do it here. Again, if you download these separately, it won't be like this. Uh, it just it depends on how you download the files. That one should be deleted. There we go. Oh, why did it not paste? That was weird. Don't need that. Eight. This and this. Oh, actually, I have. I don't actually need this. Repeat. That's a file that, uh... I thought I didn't download a file, but apparently I did. Okay, so this... I'm just gonna cut... This into here. That's gonna be the most important file out of the 12. Right there. And by the way, I'm doing this all in one cut. I'm too lazy to do like any editing pretty much. So yeah. I just wanted to make a quick video for everyone uh, that it's having troubles. When I first downloaded Mixes and dude, I, I <laughs> it was a pain. So I, I know how it feels. All right. And that should be all of them. So once you've done this, this is just the RAM, we'll get to that. Once you get this to look like this, it should be 001 to 00, uh, 012. Um, 
you're just going to want to go to the first one and extract it. Uh, and wait for it. Oh, this might take a bit. We'll see about it, though. Alright, yeah, this is going to take a bit, so I will do a cut here. Uh, yeah, I'll be back when this is done. Cool. That didn't take too long, but it may uh, depend on your computer and whatnot. Once it's done, though, you want to go into the mix disk, and you're going to have two folders. The M data and the plugins folder. Let's start with the M data. You're going to have a few different folders here, from 11 to 21, minus 20. And these are pretty simple. You just go to the M data folder in your AFT game. Here, I use, as you see, I have all the mixed edition stuff. But you would just take this and copy it over or cut it, depending on what you want. Now, uh, that will take about 10 minutes, not too long. But while that's going, you can also do this as well. Go to the plugins folder back out here. Go to plugins and do the exact same thing. Copy them over, period. Okay, cool. Finally, we're going to talk about RAM. So RAM will be in the other folder that got downloaded. And you want to extract that as well. To the RAM, RAM, data bank, and then you're going to have one file. Do the exact same section for in-game. RAM, data bank, and have a few files. It could depend. If this is your first time installing Mixed Edition, you can delete every single file in this folder and just move this one over. And that's it. That's all, all you have to do. So once mdata get moved over or cut or copied, you can just open the game. Give it .exe. Before you launch the game, I'm going to move you to the plugins folder and go into Mix Edition. This is the Mix Edition plugin made for Mix Edition, obviously. And in here you can change a few options. Being the language, being in Japanese as the default area, uh, default selection, I should say. And it will have everything in Japanese. English lyrics has the entire game in English, even the lyrics, which is a new feature in it, pretty much. Or in any Diva game, except for F and F second. And Diva X, yeah. Uh, then you can have English, which has the game in English, but the Roma G is the lyrics, just like in like Future Tone or Mega Mix or not. Finally, you can change the little free play icon at the top, right, when you play the game, uh, to that, the little face that Stewie made. It's just kind of a mixed edition logo. Uh, you can also change the game name. So instead of having Hatsune Miku Fazi Diva Arcade Future Tone, it would be Hatsune Miku Fazi Diva Arcade Mixed Edition, which changes the tab window to a different name. Cover preview. This is a new feature in this update. Well, if a song has a cover, you can click on its name to change the cover to the cover of your choice. Um, but it won't actually play on the song selection unless you have this selected. So now if you click on a cover, it will actually play the cover of the song that you're listening to. Uh, which is really cool. It's really cool. Um, amazing feature. And finally, the text color it's default of yellow which doesn't look amazing so he changed it to light blue uh it's just like a nice fancy change you can have hit okay and then you can hit launch so the game may crash at first uh it's just a common thing which mine didn't which is cool finally we have to talk about extended data extended data Basically, AFT doesn't have all the motions that, like, F-Second has. So all the edits and custom 3D PVs that are in Next Edition uh, might use some assets from, like, F-Second and F, which is not an AFT. So he has to actually add it to the game. And doing so, you have to do extended data, which can take hour to hour and a half. Um, you can disable this. I'm not going to go into depth of that. If you do care, then DM uh, me um, on Discord, which should be in the description, if I remember, or just comment in the YouTube video, and I'll try to help you out. To be honest, just wait the hour. It's not bad. You only have to do it the first time 
that you ever install a mixed edition on that AFT game. Other than that, you never have to touch it, which is cool. I'm not going to let this run because I already have mixed edition. <laughs> I'm just going to close out of that. But that's it. You should have 352 songs of this this update from January 16th, 2022. And all the monsters, all the covers. If you have any issues, again, DM me on Discord. Uh, I can try to help. If I can't, I will get Stewie to help out or someone. And yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. Hope it did help. And I'll see you later. Bye.